another day in the city. Don't worry about the noise, bro. It's fine. You weren't trying to sleep, were you? I haven't tracked calories in a couple of years, actually. If you're new to this, you got to track calories, man. If you want to get lean, you got to track your macros, and you know you really, really got to stay in a calorie deficit. You got to be disciplined about it. But how do you stay in a calorie deficit? You stay in a calorie deficit by overloading with nutrient-dense food, like vegetables. Now I gotta, I gotta really like an, a, a big secret food for all you guys to, to run by. And dude, it's it's perfect seasonal food right now because today is uh, October 29th. We got Halloween coming up, and I stumbled across this food accidentally. No intentions of eating any of it. It just happened to come across me. Now hear me out. Again, I just said that. If you want to get lean, you got to be in a calorie deficit, but also in order to do that, you got to eat nutrient dense food because when you eat nutrient dense food, what happens is, is your body is so full of nutrients from the natural vitamins and minerals content in the food that it's, it, it's filled up. I realize that, that like true satisfaction in food comes from complete nutrient dense food. So when you are full, when your body has had all the vitamins and minerals that it needs, it begins to tell the, the, the stomach sensors and like the hunger side, if you listen to it, I'm good. I don't need any more food. I'm full. You realize, oh, I didn't eat that much. I just ate some vegetables or whatever. And all of a sudden you're full. Why is that? It's because of the nutrient density. Now, what I discovered, one time we went and, we went and watched uh, Tiesto right here. There's a rave going on in this place over here. In this facility, we saw T real Tiesto, DJ Tiesto play right here. It's actually open, you can just walk right up those stairs. It's gonna sound kind of like a silly food, you're gonna be like, this is crazy, but it, it, I'm telling you, when you start to look into this and you actually try it yourself, you're gonna be blown away. Now, what I discovered is, is pumpkin. I mean, literally, I go to the farmer's market. You wanna hear some more jackhammer? It brings out these pumpkins, and I think they're in, they're the type for decoration. It turns out they're actual edible pumpkins. Yep. Those are buying directly from the gardener. They were only five bucks. These type of organic pumpkins are probably twenty dollars. Realized afterwards, I was so full, I ate half the pumpkin. Now that's too much, but once I checked the calorie content on the pumpkin, in half a pumpkin that I ate, including like a, tea, a tablespoon of coconut oil, it was less than like 350 calories are you kidding me and i ate it and i was stuffed now that is less calories than a pound of potatoes and this thing was so filling we are not by ourselves out of the dark side By eating foods that are nutrient dense, it helps to create like a really satisfying feeling. And pumpkins are so low in calories that they're like 30 calories per cup. So even like on a large serving of pumpkin with the coconut oil, I'm probably looking at like say 250, 300 calories and I feel full. And uh, probably like an extra like, like 10 to 15 grams of protein for that size serving. But I'm gonna show you how I uh, put it together and you know, I think we'll get a lot of benefit out of it since it is that time of season right now. But go out and find the right kind of pumpkins. Like these are the ones I got. These are these are organically grown in the farmer's garden. So this isn't like the jack-o'-lantern orange GMO pumpkins. You know, those huge giant pumpkins, I don't think are the ones you, you really want to eat. These are just the natural high quality pumpkins. And and what I've heard is, is, uh, is even if they have this green, is actually better more nutrient dense, the more green there is on there. The ingredients that you're gonna need, all it is is coconut oil, the best coconut oil you could find, some raw local honey, local honey is always best, and definitely real salt, the real deal on salt. Those are the three things you need to make the most delicious, nutritious pumpkin. First thing is like get all the inner workings all cleared out of the pumpkin. Take all that out, you know, but do keep the seeds. Like if it's a pumpkin or actually it has selenium. Selenium is a really hard mineral to get in food. It's not, it's not very common and a lot of people are selenium de deficient. Finding it in food is like a gem and it really helps the immune system and the body you know, function better, produce more energy. Also it has iodine in it, specifically in the pumpkin seeds. 
Iodine is something that we all need more of, especially if it's coming from food. It's so hard to get. You have to like seafood or you have to supplement with it. And so I know iodine is really beneficial in helping detoxify the pineal gland, kind of like what the sun does on you know sun gazing. But iodine, taking it in through food, is ideal. Well, you know, put it in half, and and you want to cook it this way first, where it's on its back first. And then I took the real salt, I ground up the real salt, I put that in there after glazing it with a tablespoon of coconut oil on each, because it's outside and inside. So two tablespoons total, but I also put you know like the other half on the outside. Now I'm going to bake it for 50 minutes for four, for 400 degrees. I'm going to save these pumpkin seeds. Putting a little coconut oil in there, and then you're going to cook these. Uh, the pumpkin seeds are one of the most nutritious parts, especially when they're fresh from the pumpkin like that. So that's really where, like, the, this really the concentrated iodine and high mineral content, selenium. Taking those and, and, and not throwing them away, but keeping them aside and then putting them in the oven at 20 to 30 minutes with a little bit of coconut oil in there, like, a, let's say, a teaspoon of coconut oil in that batch. And then you need to stir it up in a, in a pan, like a foil, tin foil every 10 minutes to keep it moving around so that they, doesn't, they don't burn. And they'll be light, nice and roasted in about 20 to 30 minutes. So use those as well. So take a tablespoon of coconut oil and then rub it on the inside of the pumpkin, all over the skin here on inside, and then also all over the outside, you know, so it really sinks in really good. You want to set the oven for 400 degrees and bake it with the pumpkins down like this for the first 50 minutes. It's cooked for 50 minutes, then flip the pumpkins over on the other side. And that's when you add the honey. I would add a tablespoon of honey in either pumpkin, half. And this is enough for two people or leftovers. I mean, I don't even know if I'll be able to finish a half a pumpkin. I think I will be able to. I did last time. So, but it's, it's a lot of food. It's very filling. It's so nutritious. I mean, this is really the way to eat. If you're trying to get a low calorie diet and incredibly like satisfying, accentuating a lot of food, this is ideal, man. I'm telling you, the selenium and the iodine alone just sold me on it. And then the flavor and the taste when this is done, it's absolutely delicious. So hopefully you like this video. If you did hit the like button, be sure to subscribe. And I'll check you guys the next time. Yeah.